Hello, everybody. How are you this evening? You brave Minnesota souls, thank you so much for coming out. You will not be disappointed, I can guarantee that. This music is magic. I heard it just the other day for the first time, but I heard of its concept, oh, I'm gonna say about a year ago, I think. There was an opportunity through the Twin Cities Jazz Society to uh, make an application to be featured in one of the J to Z concerts throughout the season. And um, when we read this concert, Andrea Cantor and myself, who are our co-chairs of this concert series, um, we looked at it and thought, how perfect would this be for something to help celebrate Earth Day? And what's the name of the concert? But Mother Earth. And so we said, yes, please, please, will you do a concert for us? And I'm a resident speaker here at Lake Harriet Spiritual Community, and if you haven't been here before, welcome. I'm here about once a quarter, and sometimes I bring some of my family with me to play music. Yay! Sometimes the music is the message, but uh, it's a very, um, it's, it's a very, what was the word you were using earlier, Gary? It's just very motivational on Sundays here. And so therefore, their through line is anything that happens in, in this space is very motivational. So therefore, I thought, what a better place than right here in this sanctuary than to offer this kind of a concert in blessing of Mother Earth and Earth Day. And uh, so we contacted Dave Milne, who you see to my right, and um, it is just, I haven't heard the music since, well, it was not until last Thursday when he was kind enough to join me on the radio. And I'll tell you what, you really are in for a surprise because the uniqueness of the blending of the songs, of the string quartet, the jazz quartet, it's something I've never heard before. And some of you who know me know that I grew up in a jazz family. So this is really gonna be a great night. I can't wait. Let me just do a couple of points of business. If you have a cell phone, would you please check it? Turn it off. Silence it. We'd really appreciate that. Sometimes if you, if you don't turn it off, and I know a lot of people, I just silence mine, but sometimes it can, it can get picked up in um, like even a wireless mic. So that's one point of business. There's gonna be a short, short, short intermission and we're gonna have a group called, I believe it's MN360, gonna um, speak just a little bit about, you know, things to do to conserve, to save Mother Earth. We're gonna have a little tiny intermission, another set, and then a reception afterwards. So we hope you can stay. So ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, the friends of One World Consort, Andrea Cantor, myself, and all of the people listed on your program are proud to present to you tonight Dave Milne, this wonderful group of people, and Mother Earth.
Thank you. Thank you and welcome uh, to One World Consort's Earth Day Celebration Concert here at Lake Harriet Spiritual Community. It's a delight to be here. Thank you for coming and, and uh, making your way through the rather fall-like weather to get here. <laughs> we'll try to warm it up and make it more spring-like and truly uh, a celebration of Mother Earth. Uh, thanks to Patty Peterson and Andrea Cantor for producing our concert uh, and uh, to the Lake Harriet Spiritual Community for uh, hosting it here at this wonderful center. Uh, it's great to see you all. We're um, One World Consort, and we began the program with a piece called Riverscape by dear friend Fred Sturm, who wrote uh, almost all of the music on this program. And uh, I've arranged it for this particular ensemble, One World Consort, which features the Four Voices String Quartet, which helped me join, join me in welcoming them. <laughs> Lori Petroponis, Allison Ostrander, Susan Janda, and Becca Ahrens. And joining the strings, we have the jazz quartet, myself on various saxophone and woodwind instruments. Also, Mary Louise Knutson. <laughs> Eric Graham on bass. And Craig Hara on, tr on uh, percussion and drums. So our program this evening is sort of a collection of world music uh, arranged for this particular ensemble and uh, comes from Fred's work in terms of uh, transcribing and looking at a lot of different uh, folk music recordings from indigenous uh, peoples and cultures and uh, adapting it for uh, our ensemble. So uh, we're going to continue with a piece called Highlands. Uh, this is dear to my heart because uh, Milne is Scottish and uh, the name comes from Aberdeenshire. And, uh, Although my dad's family is way back there, and I don't know the exact heritage, uh, I do know that we come from the Scottish Highlands area. And uh, this is uh, going to have a, uh, a little flute action. And uh, uh, my dear friend Laura McKenzie is here, and I, uh, she uh, and I have been working together on some Irish and Celtic and uh, Scottish flute. So here we go, Laura.
our next piece is a Japanese folk song, and uh, it's a very meditative, quiet little thing, and uh, starts out kind of moody, but then it gets into some cool grooves. Uh, so we hope you uh, enjoy this piece. It's called Ohara Bushi.
Thank you very much. Uh, a little surprise ending there for you. <laughs> keep, us every, keep everybody on their toes. <laughs> Um, we're going to turn to the music of Argentina. Uh, this is a tango by uh, Astor Piazzolla, and uh, of course a great tango nuevo composer. Uh, this is one of his most famous. It's called Libertango, and uh, um, I hope you enjoy it. Libertango. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you. We're going to shift over to some folk music from Mongolia. And uh, this is a piece called Kangai, and it's a praise song for Kangai Mountain, which is this uh, beautiful mountain, and it's a part of the uh, Tibetan Buddhism to, to praise uh, mountains and nature. And uh, it's a form of singing. It's, a, it's originally a, a vocal piece, a uh, folk song that's sung. Burton Du is the, the traditional form of singing. And that means roughly translated long song. Uh, so you hear a very slow uh, moving, beautifully arching melody in the soprano saxophone and in the string parts. So we hope you enjoy uh, Kangai.
We have one more piece before we uh, get to our intermission. Uh, this next piece is called Rajasthan, and it comes from the Rajasthan province of India. It's Indian music and uh, features some improvisation by the jazz quartet as well. Um, and uh, after this, we'll have a message from Minnesota 350 about some words to help um, with uh, some eco-advocacy and activism. And uh, Julia will come up and uh, have a few th thoughts to share with us. So thank you for being here. We'd like to thank Minnesota 350 and Minnesota Interfaith Power and Light for helping to sponsor our concert. Um, uh, they've been very helpful in promoting the concert. So thank you very much. This is a Rajasthan. Um, and uh, hope you enjoy it.
the Four Voices String Quartet, Lori Petrakonis, Allison Ostrander, Susan Janda, and Becca Ahrens, Mary Louise Knutson, Eric Graham, Craig Hara. Thank you.